Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm gonna to talk about the new 75 gallon tank. Please excuse my voice. Uh, I've been congested for about a month. Pretty sure it's allergies, I feel great otherwise. So bear with me. But I'm gonna dive into this new 75 gallon tank. Why separated uh, the American and African cichlids. I'll just give you an update on this new tank in the kids room here. And uh, yeah, so let's dive right on in. So here we are in the kids room with this new 75 gallon aquarium. And as you can see, I put all the African cichlids in here and we have a few new additions. I did go down to a local fish store down in Denver. I live out here in Colorado and uh, picked up this uh, peacock, which I'm pretty dang sure is a hybrid. And then I also got a red finned bully eye Excuse my voice again, I can't talk right now with this, with the allergy situation. Got those two, I also got a, um, a really cool Akara, which I'll show you in another video. But then I also, on uh, Craigslist, picked up eight, that's right, eight uh, yellowtail acais, which is very exciting. They're beautiful uh, ibuna that are a lot like uh, the yellow lab. They're all basically the exact same fish, just instead of all yellow, they have purple bodies with yellow fin. And I mean that in the sense of their temperaments are very similar. For an Ibuna, they're pretty docile. And I feed a mix of cichlid pellets, so I have veggie pellets in there, so I'm not concerned about their diet at all. But I've never had, it's pretty fun, I've never had, you know, it's basically a school of yellowtail ac acai in here now. And they uh, were breeding in the previous tank they were in. So um, since they've been in here, they have moved this, these ornaments around. You know, again, this is the kid fish tank, so I got some kid ornaments here. But they've moved a lot of sand and ornaments, so they may be uh, creating some nests for some breeding. So that may cause some issues. That, you know, obviously I was prepared for that. Uh, but we'll see how they behave if they do breed. Uh, there's a chance I can leave them in there and then they'll just eat the babies um, and that'll be free food. But yeah, so these are all the Africans and the reason I separated them is not because of water parameters. If you go to my other video, why you can successfully mix African and American cichlids, um, you know, there's kind of the basics in there. You know, there's a lot of things that you shouldn't do uh, when mixing them, but there's a lot of uh, a lot of cichlids from Africa and uh, in the Americas that you definitely can mix uh, with zero issues. But the reason I separated them is more for look and feel. Uh, you know, I find that this tank with just Africans uh, just feels better, it feels right. And the other tank, which I'll do an update on, the 120 gallon, feels also um, just more natural. You know, the, like, again, the fish are meant to be together, so Oh, I do have the female convict in here. I just swam in the back that comes out again. That's just because I had to separate uh, the the fish that were in here. You know, I had uh, the, the female convict and, the, and uh, the red parrot in here and because I needed to move fish around. So, but I didn't want to put the female convict back into the 120 because I didn't want the, them to breed in there. And then in the office, the 29 gallon tank um, I have some new fish in there I'll show you. And then the 65 gallon also has some new fish that I will show you soon. But yeah, basically just want to give you an update here. You know, give you some shots. But these yellowtail acai are, are really quite nice. Very beautiful fish. And everyone else in here is doing just fine. I did have one casualty. My electric blue hap did pass away. I think all of them, I think I moved these fish maybe like four or five times. And sometimes for a fish, Depending on their age, it's just too much stress and they just can't recover, so that was unfortunate. So I've been keeping my eye out for another one of those. Those are one of my all-time favorite fish. But everyone else made it through just fine. And so yeah, I just want to give you a quick update. Oh, you know, there is one more. I did also get this, um, this OB, which, you know, it doesn't have much color, but in the right lighting, you can see it has potential. Um, there are some hints of blue and reds that uh, you can see maybe it's not so great via the camera. Uh, but yeah, so I'm still hopeful also this uh, OB 
Taiwan Reef. Again, on the camera it doesn't pick it up great, but there are colors definitely coming through. There's my regular OB. So I'm looking forward, that fish, you can always see it has, has a general tint of yellow coming through, and then there are some blues coming through, so that'll be exciting. Uh, sometimes peacocks and haps can take a long time to color up. You know, for example, I've had this um, flame tail for a really long time, it has not grown fast. Same with, this is a uh, red top lawanda, it's taken forever to grow and color up. But, uh, when you're patient though, it is worth it every single time. When you see a fish color up, it's just wonderful. Same with this Insignis, taking forever to color up. And this, you know, this Malawi eye biter may be a female, honestly. And we, jury's still out. Malawi eye biters take a long time to color up. This fish has grown a lot. It's probably five inches now. I got it maybe at two inches. That, that fish grew, grew very quickly. Uh, but yeah, so here's a quick update in the kids' room. Everyone is settling in fine. I'm really enjoying the school of eight yellowtail acai. It's pretty fun. Um, I've, I've had that fish before, but just one. And I just thought it would be fun to throw, you know, of course, add a lot of color, movement, personality, because they're a little bit snappier than the peacocks and haps. But also just, yeah, the color, the, you know, the purples and blue, uh, blue and yellow. It's quite nice. So thanks for watching and I'll continue to update the other tanks and this tank as they evolve and look forward to catching you in the next video. All right, thanks so much. Take care.